Now, stakeholders in the aviation sector are calling for improved safety in Nigeria's airspace. The want of synergy between the Nigerian Civil Authority and the Accident Investigation Bureau in their regulatory and investigation activities to ensure that the nation's airspace is safe. Now, stakeholders say there is a need to sustain the crash-free record the country has attained in the last five years, despite frequent uh, frightening incidents. Joining me now is the managing partner at Glow Aviation Support Services, Tayo Hojuri. Tayo, good morning. It's nice to have you join me. Good morning. It's Great. always a pleasure to be here. Now, when we talk about safety, what is the most important component in safety when it comes to aviation? Everything is important in safety, okay. right from your takeoff to your landing. And obviously, there are very integral parts of safety within aviation from the training of the crew, capacity and awareness, up to the, uh, 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 the maintenance and obviously the operations. So you actually, the whole garment, the, uh, the sector, the, from end to end, mm. it's safety conscious. So you actually, from the start of the operations, Till landing, even after landing, you still have to check. And that part of your check from your A check, B check, C check, and the eventual D check is all a safety process to ensure that uh, the uh, aircraft operates in a safe so, environment. So is it safe to say that Nigeria, Nigerian professionals in that, in, that, in that whole chain are highly, highly aware of the safety and also ensure that they keep that benchmark up there for us to be able to attain the category one status of uh, the, the U.S. safety, um, you know, categorization. Absolutely. You should understand that aviation is actually doesn't work just in Nigeria aviation. Mm. It works in light of a global system. Mm. And that global system is what you call, we have ICAO, which is International Civil Aviation Organization. And now they have annexes, which are like the Bible or the statutory documents. Those documents are now transposed to the Civil Aviation Authority, which now has those same annexes, but domesticated for our own use. So for, your int for all intents and purposes, you actually now ensure those systems and those statutory regulations are enforced through every operation. From the startup, where you actually need to have two aircrafts before you start, to, if, to the training of the pilot, that the pilot should be rated on the same, a type, certain type of aircraft to the flight crew. And even in, before you start an airline in Nigeria, you, actually they, what, there's what you call, before you get your AOC, you actually have to fly 50 hours called demo flight to show the operators that you actually, you, you're safety compliance. Okay. So now in, 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 uh, we're pressed for time, but I, I want to ask this before I let you go. The point is, in Nigeria, in the past few years, there has been some little drama here and there. No major crashes, but we've had no no crashes, yes. like we we'll say. But there has been little little drama here and there. Depressurization, you know, inability to land, and, yes. and things like that. What impact do all of these have on the safety? Well, it's like you said. We actually had the compression mm. with Delta Air about two days ago. Oh. So it's a global issue. And what we call, you call accident, is what we call it in incidents in aviation. Okay. Incidents and accidents. When these incidents happen, it's the airline's obligatory right to actually ensure AIB and the civil aviation are aware to ensure that this does not happen or does not lead to big aviation, okay. uh, aviation crashes. Okay. All right, Tai Ojuri, thank you so much for coming on the program. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Right. Stakeholders in the aviation sector are calling for improved safety in Nigeria's airspace. They want a synergy between the Nigerian Civil Authority, the Accident Investigation Bureau, in their regulatory and investigation activities to ensure that the nation's airspace is safe. Now, stakeholders say there is a need to sustain the crash-free record the country has attained in the last five years, despite frequent frightening incidents. Joining me now is the managing partner, Aglo Aviation Support Services, Tayo Ojuri. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. It's good morning. So it's a pleasure. All right, let's start from the point of view of stakeholders who want a collaboration between the NCAA and the Accident Investigation uh, Bureau. How crucial or how important is this collaboration at ensuring air safety? 
That it's actually very pertinent and imperative because, like we had mentioned earlier, we have lots of incidents and accidents. Aviation is dynamic, just like life is. So with evaluating those risks, it's been able to highlight those risks, put them, uh, note them in the regulation and standard, and now revert or liaise with the Civil Aviation Authority where they're able to actually highlight the risk and rectify this risk before it becomes accidents. Okay. Because you're actually every day flying due to weather, to technical issues, human factors affects flying. So it's been, it's been able to identify those issues and then liaise to ensure that an accident doesn't happen. So over the five years that there hasn't been any accident, has there been some collaboration between these two uh, agencies that Absolute. ensured this, that there is accident free uh, and that aviation sector, so to speak? Absolutely. I know AIB in the last year has actually released most of the results uh, of reports of the accidents that happened even up to 19, 2012, which was the last Dana crash, major crash. Well, after that, you've been able to identify all these incidents and accidents and ensure what were the causes, all the facts, because due to, uh, accidents is not just a factual cause. There are lots of things that affect and leads to an accident. Mm -hmm. And eventually identify and now mitigate those risks, ensure that this actually addressed and ensure that NCA, as the regulator, imposes uh, standard operating procedures for the airlines, for the airports, for maybe if it's for the landing process, for the weather, for the uh, meteorological um, institute to ensure that the weather is given and ensure that the uh, instruments are available. To All right. So how much of those uh, operating procedures now have been implemented, so to speak, if we are to ask? Well, to the best of my knowledge, I believe there's lo lots of them. And you've actually, what part of what has evolved in Nigeria is NCA has embraced what you actually call a global practice, whereby you actually show that most of the operating airlines in Nigeria now have what you call IO, IATA IOSA, IATA Operating Safety Audit. With that, actually, it goes through an audit process, which is global, Mm. and actually puts most of the domestic operators in a very good pedestal. What does that ensure as well? It ensures that there's a safety culture and makes the airline embrace what you call a safety system. So management how can that system. be sustained quickly? How can that be so, so ensure that the inspectors do their work okay. uh, and ensure that the airlines as well are alive to their responsibilities? Absolutely important. Well, Tayo Jury, thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast.